Happy Easter! Welcome back to another- Man, I'm not gonna do it like that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here, and today I'm gonna sit like this and act like I'm having an actual conversation with y'all. Yeah, it's been a little bit since I posted, and uh, yeah, this is a race recap, recap as it says in the title. I'm still stuttering, I still don't know how to make a video, and yeah, here we go. So yeah, I was at- I was in Nebraska this past weekend. And last weekend, I mean a couple of days ago, I ran my first ever 1500. And thankfully, I got the whole race on video. Shout out to my dad. And uh, these cookies are smacked, by the way. Mmm. I wonder who made them. Actually, I think I know who it was. I just can't say his or her name on camera because it doesn't like me on camera. Which, by the way, me and my roommate are both on board with doing a, an apartment tour. And so, comment below if you want to see an apartment tour. And, uh, yeah, we'll make that happen for sure. That was cap, by the way. But still, comment below just to spice things up. Let's just watch the video. And uh, I'll commentate as I go and eat these delicious cookies. Alright, so my dad is filming today. And his camera stills are, are good. But... <laughs> Let's just say, uh, if y'all remember the deer hunting video, y'all remember, you know, shakiness and all that. So, might see a little bit here. But yeah, we called up to the line right here. And there we go! We're on our way. By the way, I'm, I'm in the dark green singlet and the sleeves. I'm the only one with a goatee, so, yeah. It's really fun. And immediately out to the front is the guy who wins this race, spoiler alert, and he's a 25-year-old, so... Yeah, I'm I'm sitting in fifth right now, in the in lane two, so that's that's real ideal. A little bit of shakiness action. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm fifth, sixth, give or take. Yeah, there I am. And no, those are not half tights, although they look like it. They are compression shorts, so don't at me. I actually got that idea from Isaac McGill, except uh, I wore black instead of white, and I wore compression shorts underneath, so it didn't look sussy, but that's besides the point. Um, I like where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like in contention. I say that. Um, I'm just hanging with the, the UNK boys. This is a... I don't know what division this one is. It's just... It's University of Nebraska Kearney, wherever. Kearney. That's where this place was. Kearney, Nebraska. But I've heard people call it Kearney. I've heard people call it Kearney. So, I don't know what the name of this place is. And the 25-year-old is kicking. So that's lovely. But my form looks alright here. Still gotta work on my arm carriage, but it's not like the people around me are doing any better as far as arm carry. I don't know. I've rewatched this race so many times and I don't know. It's kind of hard to be mad about my form especially com compared to how I ran in high school. As you see I'm making a move right here. This is actually a really important part of the video. Um, I'm in third place right now and this is 600 to go and dad's trying to get to the leader who is gone and uh okay well, i'm sitting about fifth right now i'm just getting swallowed up in a pack but that move was seven six hundred meters to go i was trying to just get up there lead the pack but then i get swallowed up and boxed in real quick so I never want that to happen but i still feel good I, I still feel like at this point at least i can you know just hold on to these boys because they're already getting ready to separate i mean U and K had a huge team advantage. They're the t they're the guys in all blue, and uh, there's Concordia, I think, copying my arm sleeve tactic. So I try going with him, and Bell Lap. Here we go. So, yeah, and you see the separation. And I must say, I felt super heavy at this point. I'm, I'm getting heavy now just watching it. By heavy, I mean just everything is dead. I tried matching the cadence of the guy trying to pass me on the outside here. And 
that was pretty much my last push. I didn't, I, I, my focus, just looking at my pass races and stuff, I would stride out for my kick. So my focus for this race was to just increase turnover and with that will come speed. But I tried that, I tried matching the cadence of the dude that's way in front of me right now. I just got passed by two other people and form's not completely crap, but I mean, I, I, I just remember, I almost fell over like forward right here. But my my form says a different story, which is nice. But and there's lean. I almost get caught right there, but I hold him off. Thank God. So my I didn't show my final time or my place, but my final time and place was a 406.14, and I was eighth place out of what ended up being. I mean, it, there was a lot of people. I would say 15 to 20 people in my heat. 45 people total. There were three or four heats I can't remember I can't remember because I was lightheaded as crap I had I gave that a run I have very mixed feelings about this race because I gave it my all and compared to where I was a couple years ago senior year of high school I have come a long way that converts to a 424 mile 423 mile and my PR in senior year of high school is 448 so came up quite significantly altitude has helped but I thought I would be in subboard shape, to be honest. So, and uh, this race was kind of a big deal because it it would pretty much determine whether or not I'm I would run in college. And I and I can't really that's a to be determined at this point because it, but a couple emails back and forth and nothing's finalized yet. And so, and I would hate to hype up something this early because every time I hype up something, it goes to sh so. And that's nobody's fault. It's just the way it goes. It goes in the same way in fishing, running. It's just you can't hype stuff up too much. I just learned that the hard way every time. So can't be too mad about it. Can't be uh, too proud of it either. But for my first 1500, that's that's pretty decent. I'm in that good category. I want to be in the great category because that's where you get into actually competing in the NCAA. If it doesn't come to fruition and I end up not hitting the standard with this 1500 meter time i am a part of a triathlon group on campus i haven't really mentioned that too much because again i'm trying to get some people to work out with because it's hard training for something as important as meeting the standard and not having a team around you if it if running for the university doesn't come to fruition i can become a triathlete and take that seriously because i know i have that going for me so yeah that's where i'm at right now um, thank y'all for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.